morning. Today we have a very special portal for you. Yes, it's Valentine's Day and uh, we're in a hurry to get to Savi's workshop because today, made of scrap metal, our Valentines will be. Yes. So we're going to wear this scrap metal pin up high so it's visible so we know what you're going to be building inside. And hold on to this red credential. We will take this back before going into the workshop itself. So hold on to that and you're checking my friend Josh right over there. Okay. All right, I gotta put this badge on, power and control, which is dark side. I know it's an important part of the decision, an no, important part of the process. It is. So this right here is what we call elemental nature. Okay. So a lot of this is sourced from the planet of Kashyyyk, so it's the Wookiee planet. So a lot of this right here yes. is what we call Brylark bark, which is going to be the strongest tree bark in this galaxy. Oh, so wow. So it's the only one that can actually contain and will hold the uh, Kyber crystal. Wow. I do love the Wookiees. That's awesome. And then this right here is what we have is Bantha Hide. Bantha. This one right here is Cartesian Whalebone. Wow. And this one right here is the Rancor too. So awesome. It's so incredible that a bark can contain a carbon crystal. That's so cool. Man, if I go with this element, I would totally go for the Bantha Hide and the Rancor 2. That would be really cool. Mm. Great choices. Yeah. Okay, would you like to see your other one? Yes, yes please. Yes. So, <laughs> this right here is what we call Peace and Justice. Oh, so it's a little more of our classic Jedi. Okay. I was leaning toward this one. This was calling to me, but once you mentioned the Bantha hide, I was just like, I love the Banthas, oh my. Okay, so peace and justice. And where does the peace and justice originate from? This is just from everywhere in the galaxy. Okay. So this one right here is what we call protection and defense. A little more oh, the wow. old Republic, Temple Guard. Okay. What do you think? Not for you? Old Republic. Mm. It's okay. I'm still leaning towards peace and justice <laughs> and the natural. Or I'm sorry, what is the name of this element again? Elemental nature. The elemental, elemental nature. nature. Yeah. So the last one is power and control, right? Correct. Alright. So, you know, we do have to have balance in the galaxy. We right. have our light side and dark side. Right. So, this would be a little more of the classic set. Mm. You Your choices are there before you. Thank you so much for Thank walking us know. through those. So I double checked with a cast member about whether or not I'd have the option of any of the kyber crystal colors, no matter which variation of scrap metal I chose. And even with power and control, I have the option of red, blue, green, or violet. I don't only have to choose red. Um, and that's huge to me because I have a feeling I know which color I'm going with, and it's not red. Um, it's just a color really speaking to me today. So. Hopefully it gives you an idea or, or puts you at ease knowing that when you come, you, you'll have all, all the choices available to you no matter which one you choose. See you. Check it out. It's really cool. That's nice. Also, nice shirt. Thank you. Mm, Thank you. Are you nervous? You know, I, I am shaking, but I don't know if that's because I came here already with a lot of deep feelings just from this past week and, you know, just personal things in my life um, but this means a lot to me and especially I think what I'm bringing to it in my heart and uh, you know I, I was shaking after checking in it was just you know this is, this is gonna be incredible I already know this experience is gonna be like nothing we've done here at Galaxy's Edge so are we ready yes all right inside Savi's workshop, I can't believe it. They rushed us in here because they didn't want the stormtroopers to see. So, I don't even know what to feel right now. It's awesome. Welcome, brothers. Welcome to Savi's workshop. 
Well, first I'd like to apologize for the way that we had to rush you in, but the first floor has eyes everywhere. We can never be too careful when we bring into our home, but now that you're here, it's safe, you can take a look around. And right now, the time has come for you to choose your color crystal, or maybe that crystal already chose you. And my fellow gatherers are going to come through with the four colors that we just went over. Oh, the one that is it's time to choose. Oh my. Okay, have that crystal. Place one on the small green dish in front of you, for it's not exactly stable. Quite yet. Oh, protected. Already. Ready. Is this the one that called to you, my love? That's the one that called to me. This is going to get you and documentarian inside. Don't look back. And this piece over here, you're going to wear it visibly in your market so they know what you're doing inside. Are you sure ready? Okay. Okay. Finalize the belts over there. You're all good to go. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. No yeah. problem. Down in the shade, my darling. Oh boy, I'm nervous. I didn't think I would, like, my heart is racing. I'm like. <laughs> I ended up switching to elemental nature. Yeah, you got me. The rancor tooth, I mean, they're wonderful creatures. I just couldn't resist. Do you think that's a wonderful creature? Yes, it's cute. Have you seen one? Yes, yeah. <laughs> so it usually it takes um, about five gathers to extract those teeth. Wow. Oh, wow. So usually one to distract. Or the extra. Oh my gosh. Does the one that distracts get me? So far, no. So you heard it from Richard. It takes five gatherers to get a rank or tooth. Four to extract while one distracts the rank or so. And that explains why it was so many credits. You know, I really thought you were gonna go peace and justice, so I did too. Not knowing like what it was, I was like, mm, not really that into it, but but when they explained to me that the elemental nature was a rancor tooth and then a bantha hide, I was just like two creatures that I love from the galaxy. So I was like, oh my god. Right. Now I'm split. Now I have to decide whether if I want elemental nature or peace and justice. <laughs> you know, peace and justice means the world to me. But also, I have a deep passion for all creatures. You know, from the <laughs> earth and from the galaxy. So yeah. See, you are bringing your your life experience and your true heart into this, which I think is how it's meant to be done. So, so well done. Thank you, thank you. Oh boy. I can't wait for you to get in there and do this. I know, I'm so excited. Lights start coming out of this place. The trooper's gonna be all over us. We're trying to keep you safe in here. Uh, one more thing, each builder's gonna get a build station. So if you're an observer, initially just kind of stand behind your builder. It'll help us kind of set everything else up inside. Sound good? Yeah. Great, have those credentials ready. And we're gonna go in right now. Time. Yes. All right. Let me start out here. Perfect. I get you in safe, okay? I just went. Thank you. I get you in safe. Her name is Ray, 
And you just spark a hope in the galaxy. Well, that's why you're all here, right? You're here to answer that call? I believe you're here for another reason as well. Be here for this. The lightsaber. Now the lightsaber is beautiful and mysterious. It's been held by some of our greatest heroes and some of their darkest of enemies. They say building a lightsaber is a work of art. It is a way for the builder to connect to the Force. Today, each one of you will feel that connection. But building a lightsaber starts with one very important thing. It starts with this, the Kyber Crystal. And the Kyber Crystal, they say, is the heart of your lightsaber. The color of your crystal will determine the color of your lightsaber blade. And there are many colors in the galaxy. Today we have four for you to choose from. We'll begin with this one. The blue. Once held by Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. His apprentice, Anakin Skywalker. And now, our spark of hope, Ray. Green. Qui-Gon Jinn. Ahsoka Tano. Master Yoda himself. And the legendary Luke Skywalker. Violet. Rare. And beautiful. Once held by Master Mace Windu. And the red. The crystal of power. Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, and now Kylo Ren. The pillars, those are their stories. And today, we're here for each one of you. At this time, Felicia and Daniel will be bringing around the canisters of Kyber Crystals for you to choose your very own. Let the glow of the crystals guide you. When you see that color calling to you, take it. Like it's yours. Once you receive that crystal, please place it on that green plate in front of you. It's not quite stable just yet. I want to keep everyone in here safe. Excellent choice. Thank you. Nice choice. We'll see how this goes. All right, builders. Now that we have our crystals in place, we're going to bring around the parts and pieces you previously selected to build the hilt of your lightsaber. Now the hilt of your lightsaber is the foundation of everything you will be building today. It is the center of control. You can also keep your hands from being disintegrated. It's pretty important. Now, I know this might look like a lot of parts and pieces in front of you. But don't worry. We'll be going through every step together as one. Now that we have everything you need, well, let's explore, shall we? Let's build. We're going to get started with the chassis. You're going to hold it upright with those vents in the opening up to a ceiling. Right below these vents in that center chamber is a spring loaded plate you should be able to feel with your finger. Once you've got that oh plate, take your crystal. You're going to angle one point of that crystal up in toward that spring loaded plate. Using your fingers on either side of the chassis to help guide it to a standing position, point to point within that center chamber. Now you're going to know your crystal likes to cool hole in the vents above it again to pull with the light. You should also be able to spin that crystal freely in that center chamber and it shouldn't fall out. This has also been tricky of part in the entire build that was very small and a little unpredictable at times. So if you're having trouble, that's totally normal. We're here to help. Oh my god, it's activated. <laughs> Alright, come on, Miller, you can have your crystal secure. We're gonna go ahead and move all the way down to column five. So in that last column, you're gonna select one matching pair of activation plates to contain that crystal width. Once you've chosen the matching set you'd like to use, turn them over and take a look on the inside. You're going to find one plate with a red square, the other plate with a blue rectangle. They are going to match up exactly to the red square and the blue rectangle on the center of your chassis. So my friend, the red, blue, blue, square to square, rectangle to rectangle. They should match up pretty easily. Once you've got those, those switches in place, you should be able to climb up in your aim mid fire. Um, this fire is very important to check in because it tells us that everything is still fully functional inside the hill, so make sure you check, let us know if you don't hear anything. Okay. 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 
So choose your two favorite grip. It's going to be any of the four that you have there. One for the top and one for the bottom of your belt. Just bring it fully onto it. Take your man to the middle. Give a screw to the right. And it should secure. Put that one on top. I mean, I mean, Excellent work, builders. The, the usual would be at the bottom, so I'm going to put it at the top. Oh, nice. All right. I like that. Now, we should be at this point right here where we have two grips and our activation links. So those are going to be Don't worry. Oh, uh, let's move on to the next step, though. We're going to go to box three, and that's going to be your middle. Like this okay? Now, your middle will go at the top of your belt where the hole is. You're going to choose one of those two for box number three. And you're going to gently screw it down all the way to your grip. Right? No need for pressure on this. It should screw down nice and tight. Once we have that admitted all set, we're going to go open it over, it over and you'll see the last part of your power cell on the bottom. Okay? That was now, a let's quick choice. <laughs> one of those two end caps in box number four, and that's going to go at the bottom of your build. Now, nice and gentle, just like you did the emitter, you're going to screw it on down. Ooh, but this would now, look beautiful. Sometimes you have a purple to cross so it's not going on smoothly. Take it off and try okay. it again. You want to make sure that everything is secure and uh, you don't have to end up with the rain too. Now, at this point, if your build is complete, you can set it on the hill stand and one of us will come around and inspect it and make sure it's ready for the next step. Excellent work, Nice You're doing such a better job than I did. Kind of. Kind of interesting in this one. There you go. It's heavy. This piece is super heavy. This one's much lighter. Does that one feel more? Does that one feel right? I think so. I think I like this top piece more than this one. Cool. Excellent. Very, very nice. And this does say something in an old ancient script, but I don't know what it says. So, if you ever find out, come back and let us know, okay? Well Thank Excellent you. Bill. This is actually Right here. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. 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 How do you feel, Kyle? I had some trouble building it. I didn't think I would, but I ended up having a little trouble building it, and uh, one of the gatherers helped me, and now I'm feeling really excited. However, we've now come to the most delicate part of the process, crystal stabilization, running everyone take a big step back. Your lightsaber. You 
have built a lightsaber, like the Jedi has set before you. And like them, you too can change the galaxies. Remember, it only takes a spark. Builder! Raise your lightsaber flying proud. You did it! Congratulations, the bond is complete. Please lower and deactivate the lightsaber. <laughs> Complete to your lightsaber is. Choose your path, it cannot, but, like your way, it can. May the Force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. And thank you, Builders, for seeking us out today. Now, each of you has built a lightsaber as unique and extraordinary as each and every one of you. And in your hands, you hold three remarkable powers. And remarkable powers! Well, let's turn these off from the ground. So, to protect you like Saber, we're pleased to present the Saber Chief as you depart. So our time together might be coming to an end, but you are joining us since we ain't. So don't forget to get out there and make your life on the galaxy as well. If you still may believe here, did it. Huh? Did it. 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 I'm in love with my lightsaber. This thing is incredible. I really needed this today. <laughs> this is awesome. And on Valentine's Day, thank you so much, love, for gifting me this, this awesome Valentine's Day experience and gift. So fun to have this. You're welcome, my little Valentine. Okay, Kyle, so tell me about that experience. Oh, man. Building a lightsaber at Sabi's workshop is an incredible experience. Um, it moved me to tears, and I think that's because I'm bringing a lot of personal feelings into this. Uh, so my heart and my mind is on other things. Um, but being such a big fan of Star Wars, I mean, that, that experience alone could move you to tears. I mean, it's so good. I kind of have a conflicting combination going on here. I chose the power and control dark side is rumored to be from um, Sith lands. And I chose the green kyber crystal for my blade. And um, I'll show you when the sun goes down how beautiful it is, but um, it's also beautiful because it's Qui-Gon Jinn, it's Yoda. It's, it really is like representative. I'm going through some hard times and uh, my heart's kind of not here today, but uh, my heart was fully in that moment while I was in there and I cried. Uh, the power and control, I, I'm trying to have power and control over what I'm going through in my personal life and my feelings and uh, I'm also um, trying to be wise and, and stay on the path of good and stay positive about the future. So I think that Qui-Gon Jinn energy, that Yoda energy mixed with the, con the conflict of the heart. Um, the conflict of wanting just my mind and to have complete power and control over the situation. It's totally fitting. I'm in love with this blade and this hilt and this whole thing. I, you must go to Savi's and build a lightsaber. It's, it's incredible. And the materials feel so heavy and so awesome. And Yeah. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. Got a belt clip. Mm-hmm. Walk me through it. Walk me through it. my activator. And I've also got a, uh, a different kind of hook clip. Was it worth all the credits? Was it worth all the credits? That you paid, yes. Um, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely worth the credits. Anything that can move you to tears, anything that can make you feel like you're part of Star Wars and make you feel like you've taken a step further into the world of Star Wars, you know, further into a galaxy far, far away. Anything that can make you feel like you're 
part of it is just worth it. And, you know, you can come to Galaxy's Edge, walk around Batu, and experience this land, and it's amazing. But to actually go deeper into it, to go into Savi's workshop, and to see that, and to meet the gatherers who do such an amazing job walking you through the ceremony of building a lightsaber, completely worth it. Worth every penny. Do you wish you worth had... every credit. <laughs> <laughs> Good correction. Do you wish you had done this sooner? I think this is happening at precisely the right time. I've wanted to do it. Um, I've had I've had thoughts of doing it, and I just never went for it. Um, and I think it happened at precisely the right time. I really needed this today. You're so cool. <laughs> Park by like making fantasy reality. <laughs> I got a such a cheese. Um, yeah, it was really beautiful. I like allowed myself to just like take in the the music and listen to Master Yoda. Master Yoda was basically where I lost it. Like I was, I was really excited and I already felt my emotions elevated. But then as soon as I heard Master Yoda, um, I, I definitely started crying and became overwhelmed by, by the emotions. This was very cool. Originally I had a more like industrial masculine top, but I thought like with my beautiful purple kyber crystal, I just had to go with the purple because I just felt, or I had to go with this piece because I felt like it just flows, you know, like the energy of my crystal flows with this piece. So, and yeah. It, and it's a much lighter than the other piece I have, so I felt like it would be better for wielding. So, yeah, this is, this is my light The violet does look really nice coming out of that top piece. I can't wait till nighttime when we can actually see them. <laughs> I, yeah, I was really moved in there, and um, yeah, I'm like still like in my feelings. <laughs> Um, it's really it's incredible that an experience like that can move you so strongly, huh? Yeah. You know, I just kind of like closed my eyes, took in a deep breath, and was like, I'm going to take this in and let it be like a spiritual journey. And then, yeah, I just became so moved and like my heart was racing and like, you know, good intentions came came into building this. So. Savi's workshop is two for two, got us both to cry. <laughs> I, I think that's an endorsement to come and do the experience because we both cried and we both are very happy we did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't wait to display this in my house. It's so beautiful. It's perfect. I think you made the perfect choice. Yeah. I wish that this top piece aligned with my activation switch, but I think over time they set the pieces loose in and you can align them the way you want. Right, they mentioned that these are individually crafted pieces, so they aren't going to fit perfectly, and over time you can kind of manipulate how they sit as a completed piece, so it's pretty cool. I love it, it's beautiful. Yeah, spin it around, give me the tour. There you go, we've got the Bantha Hide. It's a cool activation switch. My activation switch. Like a cover. And then my belt clip. And my Rancor tooth. Oh, looks like this uh, this Rancor had a little bit of tooth decay. <laughs> oh boy. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, I know you're like dying to swing it, so let me see you swing it a little bit. Okay. Wow, you look so powerful. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Just for you. You look cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and you look so beautiful in your heart t-shirt today, or your heart shirt this for Valentine's great, Day. This is a great Valentine's Day. Thank you, honey, for my lightsaber. <sighs> so beautiful. Is it safe if I kiss it? I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the insightful tips from the gatherers was that you could 
store your lightsaber over at Savi's workshop or over at Tomorrowland at Star Traders. You can store your lightsaber so you don't have to carry it all day. And then another tip was that on the day of, you can go over to Savi's workshop. They recommend in the morning that you check in if you want to do a walk up. Sometimes they do have room. They recommend that if you want to do a walk up to show up early in the morning, usually those builds are the empty ones. So you can squeeze in if they have the availability. How, how do I look? Do you I look, look great. Cool? Do I look cool? You actually look great. You look great. <laughs> you look incredible. Oh, the glow. I look good. You look great. Can I get too close? Cause, huh? My little Violet Valentine. camera, they're even cooler in person. Hi Ray! Hi! It's actually, some of the pieces on her hilt are from Kashyyyk. such a good time at Savi's. It's uh, worth every penny. It's an incredible experience. Uh, gave me a lot of feels and uh, a lot of joy that I desperately needed. So if you're coming from out of town or if you're in town and you're coming to Disneyland, you're going to be journeying to Batu. Make an appointment at Savi's. Worth every penny. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. And if you want to join us on the next Foolish Portal, subscribe. Yeah. Thank you so much and hurry back. Bye.